And across regional Victoria and southern New South Wales, a question that I've been asked as I travelled between Albury and Wagga yesterday and went through the township of Henty, people everywhere saying Henty Field Days, they're back on. It's great news. And I don't think there's been anybody that has been disappointed that Henty Machinery Field Days are going to be returning this September 21 to 23. It was closed last year, of course, due to COVID-19, only the third time in 58 years that there hasn't been a Henty Machinery Field Day. And according to the Chief Executive Officer, Blinda Anderson, that the Cooperative Board have gave the green light for the event planning to begin and that looking forward to uh, these big field days. The Farm Machinery Field Days have so much to offer, including uh, big crowds like 60,000 people, opportunity for people in the country to uh, fellowship together. Then you've got uh, lots of different displays and exhibits, not just machinery, but lifestyle pavilions and so forth. Um, I just find that uh, really a terrific opportunity opportunity that we have with Henty Machinery Field Days to return. The question, I guess, will be as to whether or not we get the speed field days in the Mallee of Victoria off the ground again. And I guess the other ones that around the place, the York Peninsula Field Days in South Australia, there is a field day going ahead at Karunda pretty soon. We're hearing a little bit about that. That's coming up in about three weeks' time. So there's lots and lots of activity in the regional areas and great to hear that the Henty Machinery Field Days are back on. I was in Henty only yesterday, so uh, it was great to hear and see firsthand the good news um, that's about. Good news too for sheep shearers of the future. A next generation of training is occurring and this is as a result of Victorian government. It's uh, putting some money behind a skills training uh, for the sheep shearers of the future. At Grasmere on the outskirts of Warrnambool, uh, nine graduates um, are there who are getting their training and finishing. The expert sheep shearers um, have not only got their ability to be be able to train, but learning uh, through the Southwest TAFE Shearer, tra- Shearer Training Scholarship Program, and they're completing their certificate four in training and assessment. And they can now be booked as contractors to deliver accredited training to students in shearing sheds across the state. So, a one point two million dollar program by the Victorian government. Nine trainers are now up to scratch. Uh, they go through the Southwest TAFE Shearer Training Scholarship course, um, which is at uh, Grasmere near Warrnambool, and uh, then we see this training happen right throughout Victoria and the enrolment target for shearing courses uh, is expected to have 130 students that are signed up ready to get their entry level qualification certificate 2 and certificate 3 in shearing and then that gets them uh, even to the certificate 4 level then they can train others and supervise others which is just part of the um, really wonderful opportunity Southwest TAFE CEO Mark Fidge said shearing has been a part and the heart of many regional Victoria in towns for generations and our partnership now with the government to ensure industry remains strong for the future is uh, a beneficial one. Look, I'm looking forward to hearing too about um, more training that's happening for sheep shearing uh, from Wagga Wagga out from this uh, wonderful town where I'm based today and I'm, I'm sure that there's not just in Wagga but across into uh, some of the other key towns uh, where uh, we're seeing uh, the growth of uh, shearers. More numbers needed, uh, I think, when you look at the New Zealand uh, situation where we found it really hard to have enough uh, in the sheds just purely because uh, we had the COVID-19 circumstances. Well, it would be great to see uh, this um, be averted in future years by training more shearers.